guys, this is from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials and this week I'll be showing you how to customize your UI sliders in your projects. Now we're already in the simulator, I have an example of what we were creating today, our simple UI slider here and as you can see we have gradients on our bars, our minimum maximum and instead of a little round circle button we have our good old friend the Geeky Lemon. Now we can adjust this going up and down and you can see our images slide towards wherever we slide our lemon. Now the three images I'm using here on the desktop here we have our small button our geek lemon which is about 40 pixels by 40 pixels and our bars here which is about 50 pixels by 10 pixels each. Now you have to keep the images really small when you're using them in your slider as the bigger the image is, the more room it will take up on the screen. So it be quite easy to understand there. So already on my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Custom Slider for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is drag our images and import them into our project. So we just grab them and drag them into our project here. Make sure you select cost copy items into the destinations group folder and then once we've done that we need to go into our viewcontrol.h where we need to add the IB outlet for our slider so just after the UI view controller we do bracket and press enter twice type in IB outlet space UI slider and I simply name it slider so it's really too easy to understand when we come to the coding so we can save that and go into our viewcontroller.n and just after the implementation of the viewcontroller just press enter and just after the implementation of the viewcontroller we have our view did load section here just after the CP view did load we'll press enter a few times so we have a fair bit of room and all the code we placed in the view did load as you want it all to happen as soon as the view does load so what we need to do now is type in UI image space asterisk and we're going to add the image for our minimum so we do min image space equals space bracket UI image again space image named we do at symbol to quotation mark quotation mark and I simply write the first of our images which is left bar and the format is .png so after the quotation mark we do bracket semicolon press enter what I'll do is copy this and paste it out three times so we change the first one to max image and change the name to our right bar and then finally our thumb image as this is the little button we use to slide up and down and I'll name this button as that is the name of our image so then once we've done that let's press enter twice and now we'll have to write the code now to make our minimum and maximum images scrollable so when we slide our scroller it stretches out our images so the first one is our min image space equals space bracket min image again space stretchable image with left cap wide and we do 10.0 and in the top cap height we do 0, 0.0 and a bracket in a semicolon press enter and then we can simply copy and paste that just change the minimum to max and again just here minimum to max and the stretchable images the sizes are completely the same so we don't need to mess around with them so then just after that then make a space and press enter New dash, well bracket sorry, slider, then set minimum track image for our min image and the state of it we want to UI control state normal as we don't want to change the state of our image. So we end that very bracket in a semicolon. This time we do for our maximum, so we do bracket slider set maximum track image and again exactly the same but this time it's our max image 
and we run it to UI state control normal again. Now our set from image, so we do slider set from image, and it's our from image, and again in our for state, it's our UI control state normal as we don't want to change the state of our images so now our slider has its images set for its from, its maximum track and its minimum track so once we've done that now we do min space equal space nil and there is semicolon maximum image space equals nil again And our, finally our front image space equals space nil and it the semicolon and then save all that. So then once you type that out now, we do not need to add anything fancy in our interface. So if you just go straight into it, all we need to do is drag in our slider, which we'll do now. And we just need to link up the connection in files owner. So that's simply all we need to do. So we go to file zone and I'll click on our connections, link up our slider, and then once we've done that, we can go straight to build and run, where we can see on our simulator. So now once it's loaded, you can see both bars, the minimum and maximum, have our gradient, gradient image in them, and our button has our geek element. So if we slide it down, you can see it's changing, and we can slide it back up, and you can see it's changing there. So that's simply how you customise your sliders in your projects. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you like and favourite this video as it really does help us out and gives us a wider audience for more developers to learn from our tutorials. And if you want to send us a message or leave us a comment, if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you want to leave us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. But if you haven't, make sure you do the usual, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Make sure you check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store by simply searching Geeky Lemon. But if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. If you need help with your projects or haven't got the time to create that perfect app idea, head over to our website where you can post your project on our project board for hundreds of developers to see. Or earn a little bit of money by completing projects posted by others. Please support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geeklemon.com and check out all our apps by simply searching Geek Lemon on the App Store.